Hello everyone, this tutorial is suitable for students who has completed grade 8 music theory exam and still thinking of moving on with music theory lessons. This will be very beneficial for music teachers who wants to obtain a higher qualification as some music schools do reward their teachers with higher qualifications with better pay. And I will cover one of the questions and guide you on how to answer the analysis questions in my next music theory tutorial. So subscribe and stay tuned for our upcoming lessons. I will ask you some questions and your opinions about this diploma theory exam in this tutorial and hope you can interact with me and share what do you think about this AMUS TCL diploma music theory exam. We'll take a brief running through on the format of questions and do a comparison of music theory diploma exam before and after year 2017. As the Diploma 3D Music Exam Board has made some changes in their AMUS TCL test papers after 2017, if you look into one of their past year papers, you'll notice some questions in section B of this Diploma Music Theory paper will ask about pop, film music, and musicals. And we have to identify musical characteristics which may account for their worldwide appeal, such as Michael Jackson's music. I wonder if Michael Jackson himself is able to write an article with few hundred words if he's still alive. But starting 2017, they have removed analysis question on pop, film music and musical. What do you think about this? And basically, majority of the questions are same, except this small portion of the exam. There are two sections in AMUS TCL Diploma Music Theory exam. Section A consists of question 1 to harmonize a baroque chorale. It's about four part writing to add in auto, tenor and bass parts. Number two is orchestration. They give you a reduction score like this and your job is to assign the melody and harmony to different parts of orchestra instrument and write it down on a piece of blank orchestra score. They will also guide you on which instrument should you use. Question three is to complete a piano work from romantic period. And question four is to complete a popular song in 20th century. Fill the piano accompaniment part according to the given harmony. Question 5 is to write a 20th century melody of between 24 and 30 bars. So far, the format and type of questions in section A are all the same before and after 2017. But in the section B after 2017, we will be given a prescribed word to study and we are supposed to write an essay. Or if you don't want to write essay, you can choose to answer some question regarding Bach's Christmas Oratorio, Mozart's Serenade, Schumann's Symphony No. 3, Kamina Burana by Off, and Ravel's Daphne's and Chloe's. What do you think? Isn't it better and easier? These are the set works that we need to prepare before this exam. And we can choose to write an essay or answer some questions in short sentences with questions. They will prompt you with some questions. Before 2017, we were not allowed to choose whether to write essays or not. And before 2017, the section B contained analysis questions about film music and musicals. For students who only focus on studying classical music, this area could be quite challenging for them. What do you think about these questions? You can leave some comments below. But luckily, after 2017, the format has been adjusted and we can study the prescribed work before going to exam. And the section B after 2017 only tests on classical orchestra works. So we are considered quite lucky because now we can take the new exam which seems to be easier. So in next video, we'll talk about one of the prescribed work on section B after 2017 
And I'll show you what does examiner expect in your analysis. So make sure you subscribe for full collection of online lessons and look forward to seeing you in next lesson. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.